500 million years ago, the CO2 levels were 7,000 parts per million. We're breathing 400 parts per million right now. On the Apollo spacecraft, we had a closed environment, 100% oxygen, and we controlled the carbon dioxide with a, a system we had on board, and the alarm would go off if it got to 3,000 parts per million. We're not pushing up against any thousands of parts per million limit because we will run out of fossil fuels before we get to over a thousand parts per million. Today that alarm on board the International Space Station is, I believe the number is, it's at 5,000 parts per million. At 150 parts per million, photosynthesis stops and life on Earth as we know it will essentially cease because everything starts with the plant kingdom. Temperature has swung up, temperature has swung down, CO2 has been almost level until the industrial age when we finally start adding some CO2 to the atmosphere. If anything, there's going to be net benefits, especially considering the fact that life on Earth requires CO2 and we've already seen evidence that more CO2 is causing global greening. The satellites are proving that Earth is getting greener and greener and still greener as Earth's CO2 level builds up. 